to Carry Arm Podcast. I'm Heather and this is Terry. And we're joining you from Santa Cruz. And we are going to have a check in today with our cow, K A L. Yay. So, Terry, you want to show him? Yes, I'm done. Or, or, just, oh, yes, I'm done. <laughs> Beautiful. So, this is our Vienza shawl by Hohi Locatelli that we are doing for our knit along and it's still running. And so you guys still have time to join. Beautiful. Yes. Can you show some of the lace up close? Oh yes, definitely. Wait, where am I? I'm like, where am I? There I am. Um, I also have on our site um, a short video of me blocking the shawl. Yes, that was a good uh, tutorial. But I'm kind of like thinking that I might want to re-block it because see how it folds over right there mm -hmm. uh, on its own. So you need to steam it for that? Yeah, maybe I'm going to just steam it open a little bit, see how it keeps falling over on its own. Um, yeah. Because I think um, wearing it the way that I wear it kind of causes it to do that. So. Sure. But it's only like right the well no it's all the way along this side so maybe just steam blocking it and and when we mean steam blocking it you just get like a steamer or even your iron steaming setting and just kind of applying it to heat it and, and wet it a little bit and pulling at it just a little bit to and then letting it dry open up the lace yeah that'll make it sit down good yeah and here's the thing about knits, you guys. They do need to be re-blocked at times. So you do need to go through your stuff and re-block it, and that'll freshen it up too as well. Um, if you wash and re-block, that'll freshen up for um, moths or just stinky sweat. Yeah. And so. your lace. I think it's really important with lace to open it back up. Right. And I've worn this a couple times. Um, in the way that I, I wear it, I just wear it like a silk scarf like people are doing. And like when it's like kind of cool in the, in the summer or the evenings or in the morning, like I'll just wear this. And it's really, cause see, it just comes down like that. And it's really nice and comfy to wear. And I think this is a really fun, it was a really fun knit. It was really fun, uh, fast, I mean. Fun so, and fast. Fun and fast. So you did the no uh, tassel option. Yeah, I did the no tassels. I know uh -huh. that our friend Lucia did the tassels and I'm, I have enough yarn to okay. do the tassels. Okay. Um, and I know that a lot of people were talking about because of they had yarn left over that they, and that they heard a lot of other people had yarn left over that they had wished that they did maybe another repeat in the middle. And I don't think that that is wise in my opinion to do another repeat because then the, um, the shape of it would be off a little okay. bit. Because if you do a, a repeat up here in the middle, I think the kind of the shape of it would be a little off, but it's up to you. I mean, maybe it'll be off, maybe it won't, I don't know. But Do you think somebody would have enough uh, yarn to make two pom poms, or would that just be way too much yarn instead of tassels? You couldn't do the, you couldn't do the oh, if they were using one skein. Yeah, if you had one skein, you could definitely do tassels. I don't know about pom poms. I pom poms do, up a lot of yarn. Yeah, I want to do a pom pom okay. on this. I think a, a pom pom makes it less sophisticated. Yes, yeah, it's more whimsical. Yeah. I personally wouldn't do pom pom on this. Yeah. I'm a tassel though. I would. I would definitely do a tassel. Um, I don't know. I'm. I'm still thinking about it. I'm trying to find my leftover yarn. I don't know where I put it. I, think I might have put it back in here. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna show you mine. Yes. Let's see yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mine's in the same place it was. Just show us anyway. We want to see it. No. Show us anyway. It's in the car. I'm not going to go out to the car to get it. It's no. in. It's totally in the same place that it was. I've yeah. been in a, um, like a hand knitting funk. Yeah. 
So I get into, what do I call it? I, I lose my knitting mojo probably once a year, I would say. Yeah. Every year I do. I think Just, a lot. It happens a lot to people. Yeah. It happens to me too. You know, like I get like, well, I'm not sure what I want to do. And even right. though I'm like, part, part of mine is to do with the, uh, like I had eczema breakout on my hands. So I get that once in a while. And so sometimes it's, it's not usually itchy for me, but it's pain. It can be painful. Oh, that's hands nice. are really hot. Mm -hmm. See, I I'm almost over it, so my hands are nice again. Oh, Thanks good. Really. Hands are good. I do have. Where's the camera? See that little yeah. bratty spot? Yeah. So it's peeling, but it just when your hands are they're like sore and hot. Not yes. fun. Yeah, I could totally so, see that. Right. So that kind of threw me off for a while but now um I got prescription and it's just like I don't know even really what I don't even think they know what causes that but it goes in cycles mm -hmm. so it doesn't happen all the time thank goodness it doesn't itch some people right. have it really bad and like all you know so I feel yeah. bad for them but um luckily mine goes in like a cycle and then it's like done for like months and months or whatever if I could nail down what causes it, that'd be great. But yeah, so it's not like, it's not triggered by stress or hormones or anything like that. It just happens. I have no idea. Yeah, really. My old man's on my porch. Ooh, did he bring me yarn? <laughs> I don't hear the little. I didn't hear the little beep. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be getting something. <laughs> he probably didn't bring me yarn. So that put a kink in my uh, knitting mojo. Yeah. There was so bad I iced my hands a couple nights oh because they were so hot it was like it was just yeah. annoying I'm sorry. but anyway that's that's where I'm at but I could start to feel like coming back like I want to knit again oh good so I'm starting to get my mojo back so I thought that while we're still talking about the cow mm -hmm. we can show the prizes that we have okay. Yeah, which we haven't shown yet. So this is the first time. Yeah, all the okay, you guys, check this out. So this is going to be the grand prize. And this is, this is cute. So first, this will be all one thing, right? So we have a skein of Elevate Fink Green Yarn. And that's all it takes to make this shawl. So you'll get this skein, this actual skein. Hmm. And this is called agave, or agave, I should say, agave. which is like the plant, right? Mm -hmm. And this has bright yellow, orange, and the base is like a green, kind of like green plant color. Can you see that at all? It's getting blown oh, yeah. out. Yeah. No, I mean, the you can see the speckles. Oh, yeah, that's a good. Kind of hard to see the green undertone, but it's very I'll put, I'll put another picture of it up. And that's the Elevate yarn, okay, that we're doing the cow with. And then, this is something new. This is fun. Yay, Yarn Shop! Yay. The new bags. Yes, Yarn Shop Santa Cruz. So, you will get this beautiful this tote. And it's really roomy. Yeah. So, yeah, and it actually folds out even more. So... so you think you could put like in how many projects could you wow this is a big tote you could even use this for grocery shopping and if you needed to in a bitch right it by baguito so and then you could put even like a blanket project in there like for blankets oh yeah you could totally do a sweater i mean this would be big for your right uh, one scanner it's not a one scanner bag this bag is big this is That's great awesome. this is great for all your it's a big tote basically. Right. It's got a cute yarn ball. Um, Corey, the owner of Yarn Shop Santa Cruz, had this um, logo made up uh, for this guy. He's so cute. It is and very cute. I love it. If you do not win, don't be sad. Just call Yarn Shop Santa Cruz. You can buy one of these bags and get your own if you don't happen to win. And also they have one with caps. Yeah, I'm gonna get the cat one. So the other one is a cat, 
which is cute too. But everybody loves sheep because we knit. So we got that one for you guys. And then to go along with this, this is the grand prize, right? Our friend made stitch markers. These are here. Terry has not seen these. Well, she probably saw a picture of them, right? Yeah, I've seen a picture of them. Okay, so I'm excited. Our friend Cindy made these. These are just gorgeous. Okay, I I should have asked her more. We'll put a description of what they're made out of. But look at how pretty this little it's swinging too much. Sorry. I'm gonna lay it in my hand and see if we can get it that way. I, I know that she was saying that it's actually like jewelry grade. Um, I'm sorry. Hold yeah, your hand up like this, like, like this okay. behind it. There you go. The yeah, tree. See it. Yay, a tree. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Like our friend Cindy, she's like a jewelry maker. Yeah. Along with a uh, yarn and quilting and all the things, gardener and. <laughs> so, so this a lobster claw. Mm -hmm. Which is great. So that can be a pr progress keeper. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it like the Canadians. Progress keeper? Progress. Or progress keeper. Progress. You're from the U.S., right? We're from the U.S. We are? Oh, yeah. Well, okay. my husband. So, but... Your husband's Canadian. Okay. So, and, and then the acorn. Okay. Oh. Acorn has other little... Those are so pretty because, like, I think that they're like actually like really precious, not precious metals, but you know, like the silver. I think she stone. Made There's stone on there too. I don't know. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll throw up the info though. Like yeah. we always do. Terry always puts our our show notes up and everything. And then you have the another progress keeper. Maybe we'll break this one up. Maybe we'll let somebody win a cute progress keeper since this one has two. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll decide. But here's the acorn lobster claw. I love it. It's so pretty. She went with our, uh, totally appreciate her making these. So beautiful. Oh, Thank yeah. you. She went with our um, nature theme. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the yarn and, uh, and the tree in California. So she went with our theme. Super sweet. Okay. And then second prize, our earrings. Did she make these too? Have you seen these? No, she hasn't shown me those. Okay, second prize is earrings. Oh, wait, she did show me those. Never mind. <laughs> Aren't they? Oh, They're those are really pretty. Yeah, she's a so very good. Were... Go ahead. Let's see what they look like against you. I'm just saying if, like, to get, so you can kind of tell how big they are. Yeah. So they would go something like that. Oh, those They're... are pretty. Okay, I'm keeping these. <laughs> Scratch that. Guys. Scratch <laughs> that. You, don't, you guys don't get anything. Right. Retracted. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, those are our prizes for our cow, you guys. Yay. And so the prizes, we're going to draw them at the end of this month. Right. So. And, and you know what? It only took me two weeks to make this. So if you guys... Work hard, bang it out, you'll be done. And the yeah, it's not, it's not. Go ahead. Sorry, it's not hard. No, it's uh, not hard. It's not time, super time consuming. If you just go slow and steady, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And so it has to be a finished object posted to our Ravelry forum. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I gotta put, I gotta put pictures up of this. I haven't done that yet, but I will. I've been really okay. slacking. I want to see what you're wearing. What I'm wearing. I finished my Le Pouf sweater. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it I'm looks poofy. The sleeves. It does look poofy. Okay, let me push this back so I can stand up. So, and I'm wearing our shirt. Yes. And I wanted to show the way that it looks like with kind of like styled like how Biata styled it. I love it. Um, I like it a lot. The sleeve length is really nice. It's not it's not too poofy. Like, I mean, here, let me see. But it's definitely poofy. It's definitely poofy at the end. Very cute. 
And I like it because it's not that long and it comes like right to my hip. I can have to back up, but it comes yeah. like right to my hip. Right Put here. your arms down like regular from it and then turn. What, turn all the way around? Yeah, yeah we can see where it hits you. It hits you in a great place. Yeah. I did a, about a half inch longer. Did you? Okay. About half inch longer. Um, my sleeve cuffs are one and a half instead of like the two inches. Okay. She says. And this is one and a half. Um, why your right the thickness of your rib? Yeah, the thickness of my ribbon is one and a half inches around. Okay. One and a half, almost two actually, with the bind off. Looks great. And then, um, yeah, the, uh, this is laying pretty flat. I like that. I I looked up a way of of um, use math <laughs> to count like how many rows you have compared to stitches so that you can get your ribbing to lay flat and not be because like it says in in the pattern to do pick up two stitches for every three so you go two stitches skip a stitch to put apply the uh button band or the collar band right here but if you do it according to your stitch length and row count comparatively ratio i don't know i'm babbling it but won't up. I know what you're saying. Yeah, it won't bunch up. It'll lay flat. I I will put a link to the um, oh. tutorial that I followed for it, and it actually made it not, you know, not bunch. Like, see how flat it lays. I mean, I still have to block this because I finished it yesterday and I cut all the strings. You haven't blocked it yet? I haven't blocked it yet. Wow. But the collar in the back is starting to like. Here, I'll show you guys. Rumple. Rumple. That's that's Rumple. exactly what it's so doing. Because it, like, if you look, oh, thank God I'm taking this off. It's hot right now. You see how yeah. it just hangs and it's kind of like coming in on itself. Whoops, there it is. There you go. And it's starting to, starting to fold over. Right. Like I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's we can. Starting to, it's starting to. Mm -hmm. uh, fold right here I have I'll block it and that'll go away and that's why you guys should block your stuff even sweaters and stuff even if they fit right off the needles you still want to block it or you know if you feel like it fits really right and you don't want to touch it steam block it like I could even just steam block this the collar to get it yeah. to lay flat yeah. so then I will be happy with it so I might even just do that I might just steam block the collar yeah but eventually you'll have to wash it anyway yeah, eventually you'll have to wash it anyway, but I'm happy with the length. Even if the sleeves get a little bit longer, I'm okay with that. And I'm okay if it gets a little bit longer because that's what, where it's going to grow when I block it. So. so your ribbing is graphite hedgehog? Oh, yes. So the where did I put everything? I don't even remember. But I will put the um, colors down. So this is graphite. This is the ribbing right here and the collar. Um, and then this is the insomnia, the new hedgehog insomnia. And then this is the peanut butter jelly, la bianime colorway right here. And this mm -hmm. is Oracle mm -hmm. hedgehog. And then this is, oh, I always forget this one. I'll put it down there. And then there's a little bit of white right here. And I don't know, I can't really even see it. I don't know why it's even in here. <laughs> but it's not white, it's... um. It's another hedgehog color that I don't remember the color of, and I don't have my stuff right Pond here. Something. Yeah. It's not green, though. Does is it, it look seed? green? Is it seed? No. It's, it's not ghost. I can't remember. Okay. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll put it all down in the below. But Perfect. anyway. Oh, and this is, like, a different color, too. The bottom hem i don't even know what this is oh is it yeah it's like i think it's western sky knits and it was just a scrap that i had and you kind of see that's kind of purpley yeah i love it so it was just a scrap that i had and i liked it so i wanted to put it in the sweater and that's what i kind of like about this sweater is that i just put some scraps in that i like you know yeah 
you could totally make a whole scrappy deal. Yeah, like this is this Le Bien-Aimé is a total scrap piece or, nice. or yarn. It was like I had like about this much of it, and I put just one kind of stripe in there, which really matched the insomnia at the bottom. Like this is right here is that purple, and then you could totally see that exact same purple right here. Right. So it matched really well. I was really pleased, but I like it. It's a nice, cool uh, summer night that we have sweater even though we don't really do anything anymore we don't go outside but that's okay <laughs> okay anyway alrighty then that's it for me for my finished objects and thank god i could take my sweater off right. i have nothing else done on mine either mine's in the same place i actually have this one next to me but it's in the same place and i'm sad because i want to work on it but mine's stuck for the reason of my color choice, like I said last time. My color, I can't find the next color, the right next color. So what I am going to do now is I have a knitted wit purple. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the color. Um, but I am taking one in one skein of the hedgehog. And I'm going to do that little thing I do where I knit a couple rows, I only did one row, but I'm gonna knit a couple rows in just this much, just mm -hmm. like whatever this is, 25 stitches, and see if it's too much pink or not. Yeah. I have a feeling it's too much pink. So we'll see. Um, too much pink for your liking, right? Too much pink for the sweater, not necessarily my liking. I like this color a lot. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that I want to go from a gray base to having it, because it's definitely a pink base. Like that light right. tone. Yes. Base. I can see what you mean. Yes. But I don't, that's not what I was planning. It was going to be a gray with purple. So pink was never super involved in this sweater. It was more purples. Mm -hmm. So was, I don't think this is the right direction. So that's status quo. That all sucks when you're not happy with it. No, and I'm not going to do it until I find what I want. Until yeah. I'm happy. Totally. That's okay. Then if you're not happy with it, you won't wear it, right? Right. All right. What are we doing next? Do you want to do our acquisitions? I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go first. Okay. Where? I just had my... Ugh. Okay, so here it is. Okay, I don't know. Should I do? Okay, I'll show you everybody like what I bought myself for my birthday, which was like in May. So this is like a month ago, but it took that long to get all this stuff come from England. <laughs> so um, I bought myself some Fab Funky Fibers. There. Didn't you show that last? Did I show this last time? I think you did. You showed something you got yourself for your birthday. Doesn't matter if it's a reshow. Okay. If it's a reshow, I'm sorry. It's been a while since we've recorded. Right. So this is all the Fab Funky Fibers yarn. And I kind of mentioned to her when I ordered that it was my birthday present myself and she sent me a free. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so nice. So there's this. But what I'm really excited about <laughs> is I have had, uh oh, darn it. Um, I've had a skein of mohair yarn that just got caught in the zipper. Ah. Of mohair yarn that I got from a friend. Oh my God. Was that like a yarn swap thing you said? Yeah, it was a yarn swap thing. So now she's my friend online. <laughs> um, like her. <laughs> I am. Okay, so I got that. I got it, and I had this skein of yarn, mohair yarn from her for a long time, and I haven't found anything for it. And, to, and I was thinking I wanted to do the birds of a feather shawl. 
And then so when Monarch was open, Monarch is another local yarn store. Pacific when Grove. Opened, in Pacific Grove. When they opened, I went over there and they had just gotten some metal and tosh. So I bought some stuff. So this is that mohair that I was talking about. Yeah, wow. It's like really, uh-oh, it's coming out of this. Right. I can't really see it, but this is from Onyx Fiber. Oh, okay. And it's, it's an indie dyer. And this is called Ophelia, it's mohair silk, 459 yards. And it's 72, 28, so 78 mohair, 28 silk. So this is a really a bright purple, like it's like a fuchsia-ish purple, right? Okay. And so I didn't know what I was gonna do, but then I found this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, and I've already got it skeined up. And I didn't wanna cast you on. look together for a minute and, and, and then just know that, oh, I see that is it skeined up, gotcha. Yes, this is it skeined up. Oh, wow, yeah, that's perfect. So it's gonna be like this, there, it doesn't, it's not really showing very well in the light, but it's more of like a red purple. I can see that. Yeah. And this, and, and actually they, they look really good together. Like, I know it kind of looks weird in this light, but. It doesn't. So I'm going to do birds of a feather with this. I was, I had to finish. This is so funny. I had to finish my, my LaPouf sweater because my sixes for the. <laughs> right. being, being used by my LaPouf and I didn't like any of my other sixes my size six needles because yeah. they were they were like metal or they're wood ones and I like metal so I'm being stupid about it but I don't no. know and I couldn't find it. my other metal I don't know you had that problem the other night right, right. <laughs> what were you saying I think I was saying that six is probably my most used needle right I can never find six. And I know I have a bunch of sixes, but it's like they're always on. So. I don't know where they are either. I, I know I have a bunch of them. Uh, isn't six this? <laughs> I yeah, think this six of them. Two of my six. six right? Because I got a sleep going. And all I had was. Huh? Sorry. Okay. Tell me if you hear the neighbor's dog barking in the background. Tell me if you hear it. Not right now. Yeah. And I'll shut the window, but. So, yeah. Isn't this pretty? It's gorgeous. I, I can't it. wait to you rock that in your black leather jacket. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> in my full leather jacket, because I ain't that rich. <laughs> in your what? In your full? I'm not that rich to have a real leather jacket. In your pleather? In my pleather. Pleather's red. So there's that. Do you want to talk about what we got when we went to Firebird? Yeah. Okay. You go first. Okay, we went to Firebird Yarns in San Francisco. Yay! And neither of us have ever been there before. And that was fun, and the owner was there, and she was really nice, and we got to talk with her. Um, she has only three people. Her shop is, is tiny, and she's only three people allowed in a time. And, of course, social distancing, and you wear your mask and whatnot. Uh -huh. um, we were in the fingering section <laughs> of sock yarn. Pretty much, yes, I was gonna say probably the whole time. On, I think at the tail end, on the way out, I did see this little bad boy sitting there and I had to grab it. This is chunky yarn. Uh -huh. And this is Machete Shop, which Terry turned me on to while we were there. I had heard of them, never had any of it before. This color is called Grassroots, and it is a superwash merino. And this is her bulky base, made in Pennsylvania. I didn't know that. Um, so I got this one. I got this for a hat for my son, because his favorite color is green, and he does like purple. And that would be <laughs> fun. That would be fun to wear. This I mix. I want to knit. I want to start something with this today. Okay. You heard it here first. I'm starting a project, which is usually not my problem. I can usually start projects very easily. Oh, yeah. This has been my problem lately, is that my mojo is gone for hand knitting. So 
he looked at it and he's all, yeah, he hasn't been wearing knit hats very much lately. Um, he's well, seven. Trevor. It is, but I mean, by lately, I mean like in a long time, actually. He always really wore hats that I made him like awesome since he was a baby. Uh, I'd say in the last like two years, he's kind of like, he puts it on for a minute and he's like, yeah. And he takes it off before we get out of the car for school. And I'm like, it's cold. You should wear it. <laughs> so he's like, but I'd rather have a dragon. <laughs> and I'm like, seriously? I already made him a dragon <laughs> for his seventh birthday, uh, which was in last September. And it was green. And we'll put up a picture of him. He's super cute. Yeah. And that was uh, Susan B. Anderson's pattern of, yeah. I think it pattern might even be called little dragon but we'll put it up and it's yep. just, she's a genius with toys like she I love her toy knitting patterns everything it was always super clever construction uh -huh. um super clear sorry super clear super clear she yeah. does all the fiddly bits there really aren't any because she makes them so streamlined her patterns are very and it's usually in the round and everything like her patterns are great right has a lot of support for her stuff so I've knit a lot of her little animals and so this is either gonna be a dragon or a hat or maybe it's just gonna be my hat or I'll him and I can wear the si same size hat sometimes I'll just make it yeah. a hat and then I'll just wear it and if he wants to yeah, wear it, if he doesn't like it it's not a big right thing. so that's that's that one okay then this little bad boy caught my eye and I've never heard of these, this one before either. Look at that. Yeah, that's so pretty. Uh, so what is the yarn called? This is called Loft 22, hand dyed in Ripon, California. So I, she has a lot of people from California, mm -hmm. I think, dyers. Like, by a lot, what do I mean? Like more than four, maybe, at least? California dyers. She has, she has the dye project. I got yep. the Santa Cruz local dyer. Yep, this one's local, and I know she had some other ones too. Mm -hmm. So this is exploding potion. And this is gonna be socks. And it's 75 merino superwash and 25 nylon feels fantastic. I love I want those socks <laughs> now. Okay, then this color caught my eye. I was like, oh, yes. So this machete shop as well. And this colorway is called hand wash in cool water to lay flat to dry. Just kidding. <laughs> what is the color? I don't know how to say this. Oh, <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. I don't know how to say that part, but it means fear of chickens. Is that a really a thing? It's called a uh, Terphoria, phobia, elect I don't know how to say that, but it means fear of chickens. Did she bake that up, you guys, or is that true? You should tell us. Electrophobia. If anybody knows, comment below. Electrophobia. I don't know. Don't ask me how to pronounce stuff. I'm the it's worst. It's not like it's not like feather phobia, or <laughs> like. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, what is, yeah. What is that? root of that word that makes no sense to me okay but look at the color i know it's so bright and beautiful oh love it it's got these speckles over here and she had this in all i think like dk i know for sure i think it was in the chunky but this is machete shop again so she carried this color and these are gonna be socks all the fingers are gonna be socks oh my god i am i'm embarrassed you're spending the stimulus check. Come on. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm not showing that one because that wasn't. That yeah, wasn't the stimulus that, check. That was bought there. <laughs> but I got this one in the mail. But this was bought there, actually. Okay, so this one. Cat sandwich. Check it and see. Right? We got yeah. the same one. Oh, whoops, that's upside down. Mine's sparkle. Oh, mine's not. I've never had a pair of sparkle anything. Not using my thing, but I'm going for it. And you see the Stellina? Mm -hmm. 
That's pretty. So, so yeah, same colorway, but hers is. This is called Juicy Plums. Right. And this one, the lean is the fiber that makes it sparkly. So I got that one. I'll move along quicker. Okay. Next cat sandwich. <laughs> I love this color. Okay. Oh, I also got this there too. Cat sandwich. Oh yeah, that's cute. I almost got one of those too. We're this not is sponsored, just a fan. Right, right. You're the one that turned me on to this. Yes. Uh, hyacinth amethyst is what this is called. And that is a flower and a color. And this is on trusty sock. Fantastic. Feels good. Oh my gosh. What's this cat sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. How'd this get in this bag? I thought you weren't getting that one. I'm just messing around. I oh. totally picked it out. <laughs> of course I picked it out. Okay, and this one is called Aurora Borealis. Oh, yeah, I have a pair of socks. I have two pairs of socks on. Out of one something, skein. Something I'd like to see in person. Not a cat sandwich, because that would be gross. But right. Aurora Borealis. Right? Yeah. I, oh, yeah, the, the lights, the northern lights. I've seen those. They're cool. Okay. Terry, stay with me here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Okay, and then she has a lot of, she had a lot of minis. Right, right, right. So I grabbed some minis. I really wanted to get more, but we had been there so long that we were getting hungry and it was time to go. But I would have loved to, like, just dump all the minis on the floor and dug through them. Yeah. She's like, I have another bag of minis in the back, and you can look through them. And I was like, that's okay. I'm not They're gonna like make candy, that. though. They're like candy. Like, you get them, and you're like, ooh, it's only like eight bucks. It's crack candy, yes. Uh -huh. it's like I, I, and they're fun. I think it's the same thing like fat quarters, basically. Crack candy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so these, I'm like, what are the two colors? These two are the same. And this is smushy, dream in color. Dream in color smushy. Your and they call them, huh? Your hand was in the way, couldn't really see it. Wait, is it dream in color? Yeah, dream in color yarn. There are little ones, there are many that are called petites. And it's called, the base is called smushy. It's fingering, of course. Okay. Love this green undertone. Mm -hmm. Fantastic go. Okay, and this is called loose gems. And so I'm going to actually put it with this one, and I'm going to make socks. And the other color I'm going to put it with is called also Loose Gems. Okay. What? I don't get that, but yeah. Uh, maybe I'm reading the wrong thing for the color name. We'll figure that out later, but this is the other color. Mm. So these two, the greens pick up each other. I think those would be cool scrappy socks. I might add some more minis that I have together with it. Uh -huh. We shall see. TBA. Okay. okay. And then she's done a free thing of soak, which I've never tried soak. I usually use um, eucalyn. Yeah. But okay. I've always been curious about the pineapple smell. Oh, yeah. So that'll be fun because eucalyn. Yeah. Has other scents. Soak um, has other scents. I'll see we're descriptive. Um, the difference between the two, if I'm not mistaken, is eucalyn has lanolin in it. And I don't think this does. Okay. We will check on that though. And if you know, comment below. I think that's the main difference between those two wool washes. Okay. But both of them are no rinse, so that's cool. Yeah, I like that. You don't have to rinse it. Okay, you're up. Okay, so you guys already saw I got my cat sandwich. And then I got some machete shop, and this is I love that. small skeletal. Isn't that <laughs> a cool name? Yeah. I was uh, just gonna say. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this. I might put this in a faded project that I'm setting up for. Okay. And I got some comma chameleon. 
Oh, 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 I wanted to grab some of that too. Yeah, and this is in Knox. I mean, I swear to God, like, I love these kind of like gothy colorways with gothy names. I'm just like in love. Right. And so that's what I got there. I just got these three plus my, because I had spent some money at Monarch before. And it was kind of like this, um, we just, we didn't really plan it. We just were like, let's go to Firebird. Okay. Right. <laughs> and like a couple of days before I'd gone to Monarch and I was like, oops. So, and then I got a Monarch besides the, that really purple one. I got these two to go with. This are this is Madeline Tosh. Pretty it's leopard colorway and what is this called? Star scatter. So this is all gonna go like this and this that I got a firebird is gonna go into a sweater, faded sweater that I'm doing. That's right. You brought those with you. Yeah, and I brought these with me. This is uh Yushita, um, Andromeda and Dusk. So you guys, that's a great tip. I, I don't know if we've mentioned this before, uh, but you should bring your yarn with you when you are trying to complement slash match slash anything. If you're going to put anything with anything, bring in your half knit thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've said before, you cannot remember color. Right. You think you can, but you cannot, I guarantee. And I see it all the time working in the shop at Yarn Shop Santa Cruz. Just bring it in, and that's the way to go. And that's what yeah. Terry. You'll be happier. You'll definitely be happier. And I was actually really lucky with the Madeline Tosh that I bought to go with that purple mohair that I had. I just bought the not the Madeline Tosh purple, and and I was like, I hope this works, and it did. <laughs> you got lucky. <laughs> got really, really lucky. So anyway, so this is what it's going to be. It's going to be this one for the faded sweater that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'll put a, I, I forget what it's by or what it's called. I'll put a picture of the one that I'm doing up right here. And it's been kind of like in my queue. So anyway, it's going to be this, this, uh, where is it? The Yushita. Then this one. And then this is going to be the color work that's at the bottom of the sweater. So, yes. yeah. So that is I'm not to do that. Like it. But I love this. Look at this. Yep. It's totally, like, I keep thinking that I should branch out. And I know I say this a lot. And you're probably like, Terry, stop it with the branching out stuff. Because, like, I'm, but I, everything I have is, like, purple. You love it, though. I do love it. So you gotta it what you're gonna wear, okay? I'll wear it because it's, it's the colors you're gonna wear, right? Yeah. So if you branch out and you're never gonna wear it because it's bright orange or whatever, then don't do it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't wear it. So right. I think that's it. Okay, that's our acquisitions, guys. That's our acquisitions. Okay, so I have something fun to say. Okay, go. I have six percent left but on my iPad. Woo woo. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you saw, but I won something on Instagram. You did? Yeah. What did you win? So I won a dozen cookies decorated. You from won those? Yes. No, not the ones there. So oh, okay. Um it's a dozen cookies hand decorated from hen house cookie company and you can find her on instagram at hen house cc okay you guys should follow her she's one of my best friends and her i'll put a picture up right it's just incredible she's super talented so like her work is amazing like if you go through her feed you'll just be like what so she's all <laughs> she's all you want and she's all and i didn't rig it <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, I won? I'm like, I never win anything on Instagram. You know, when you go tag people. And yeah, like, yeah. Blah, 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 whatever. So anyway, it's funny because uh, she was going to make cookies anyway for me um, for our podcast. But I won them. So, so she does this cool thing. Okay, long story short. She does this thing called the birthday box. And it's like she asks, gives people a questionnaire. Mm -hmm. And they pay 
whatever for a dozen cookies. And she takes things you like, like bits of things that you like, and then she gets creative control, which is odd because that's her jam is not so much baking the cookie. It's the creative part of decorating it. Okay. That's, that's her thing. Yeah. yeah. That's her thing. So, um, if you have anything to input, tell me, but we've got supernatural. We're doing our logo. Okay. okay. She's going to do our logo. And then we just threw some other stuff about whatever. And it's going to be surprised what she makes us. And we will have those cookies. So fun. I know. So she's definitely making us, because the logo is going to be intricate. Yeah. So you and I are definitely getting one logo cookie each. I'm going to, like, keep it forever. Hey, I wouldn't, don't eat that thing. Damn it. We're going to, like, shellac it, or you can just leave it as is, and it can just, it'll just stay the cookie forever. Really? That's cool. Um, she's going to look it up, but I think I you, could, you could put that in, like, a shadow box or something. Totally yeah. could. She has cookies that she made that are sitting up on her windowsill of her kitchen for, like, years. Yeah, I put that, like, right here, you know? I just put right. it on the wall. So we're each getting one of those. Um, and then whatever else. I told her purple, orange, black are colors. And knitting stuff. Right? And she's a knitter. So, yeah. How awesome! That's so cool! I'm so looking forward to this. Maybe this so. is so cool. I know. And then, um, so if there's anything else you want to throw in the mix, and what's fun is it's like a surprise, right? Like, mm. I don't know what else we're going to get, but we're going to show them here and it'll be fun. That's awesome. I know. That was super cool. That'll be. Thank you so much. To, like, hang Bye. out. That'll be a good excuse to like wave at each other from afar. Right. <laughs> So that's my fun bits for today. Um, yeah. I think that's it. We also have a hashtag. Yep. Hashtag Vencia Shawl Cal. Yes. And I think we'll that's also it. hashtag it on our Carry Yarn podcast. Yeah, also Carry Yarn podcast. To show us your progress or it doesn't have to be finished there. Just, just show us what you got going on. Shows your colors. Yep. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining us. We will see you sooner than later. Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye. Bye.